It's Alan and Marcus today. I'm on a wee trip to London and I'm seeing Marcus and Paul and having a lovely time and we're going to talk about Burns Night, aren't we? We are, so let's start the show. Well, for Burns Night, I guess you have to go to a Burns Supper. And I've got Alan with me here, who's been to many in the past. Oh, I have. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Tell me about what, I'm a haggis what goes fan. on. A haggis fan. I'm a haggis fan. So the the haggis comes in, it's, it's piped in, isn't it? Yes, with yeah. a piper. It yeah. was originally called Pussy Nancy. Oh, right. It was Burns' <laughs> serving wench. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. So, so she carries it in on a big tray, uh -huh. and with the piped in with the piper. Right. And then they stab it. You know. oh, right. well, oh dear, we, we didn't bring our knife today. <laughs> and oh is it piping hot when it arrives? Yes, they do. Sorry and they the do joke. the address to the haggis. The address? Oh, well, mm. it just so happens that we, we have it here. This is. Oh my goodness. This is... I, but I know it from them. We slick it, curin, timorous be. Oh, wrong point. Oh no! <laughs> just as well you've got the words there. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Well, here we go then. Right. Now, are, are you going to start off? Because I'm probably not going to say it very well, but with, with, with your. Oh, well. Scottish roots, my dear. Oh, I'll I think. try, yes. Yeah. Fear for your honest, sonsy face. Great chieftain of the pudding race, I've been them all you tat your place, paunch, tripe, or firm. Indeed, your wealthy o' a grace as langs my earm. The groaning trencher there you fill, your hurdies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill like amber beads. His knife, see rustic labour dicht, and cut ye up. we ready slicht, trenching your gushing entrails bricht like on a ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. Oh, I can almost taste yep, it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry, Marcus. Because this is what it's all about. It's about slaying. Oh, I know. Yeah. We need to go for lunch now, don't you think? I think so. That's a really oh, good idea. But maybe they'll have haggis on the menu. Do you you think never so? know. We'll you try. never know. We will try. <laughs> and if you're having a burn supper this burns night, have a good one. Good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching today's show. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I think a really good accompaniment for Burns Night is shortbread.
and I'm gonna have a go at making it for the first time. And it seems pretty easy. All you need is 150 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of caster sugar, and 50 grams of butter, and then uh, a pair of hands to mix them all together. <laughs> and a bowl, of course. So let's get started. So we add in all our ingredients into the bowls. We have our flour, we have our sugar, and we have our butter, which I have pre-cubed. So we'll put that all in like so. And then it's a matter of just getting your hands stuck in there. And what you want to do, first of all, is to get it into a, like a crumble sort of mixture. So this might take a little while until it all comes together. So the mixture is now into a nice crumbly texture and what we need to do is to now create it into a dough and by squeezing the mixture together it should come together as a dough. So I'm just going to take like a handful to start with and I think the best thing to do rather than trying to get it all into a dough at once is to make mini sort of dough balls and then squeeze squeeze them all together. So we'll be squeezing our balls together. <laughs> so I've got some extra flour left over and I'm going to sprinkle that on the board. And I've also got my rolling pin. And get rolling, 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 rolling. I hope it all does stay together. <laughs> it seems to be breaking up a bit. Let's see if I can sort of squeeze in those edges. It's like almost like at the edge, it's turning into like, like the beach. It's sort of going down into the sea. It's like sand. Now I've got this very handy little um, pizza slicer here and what I want to do is make it into fingers so I'm just going to take the edges off and we'll do fingers sort of I don't want to make them too thin because it might all collapse and to let the air go through it we want to like prick it a few times so when you buy shortbread you will see that there are little prick marks, so just use a fork to do that. And I've got some extra sugar to sprinkle over as well. You always get nice sugar on top of your... Uh, ooh! <laughs> I'll just pile it all on, why don't I? There we go. Now, you can't just cook these immediately. They have to go into the fridge to set for 20 minutes and then they go into the oven. And you cook them for 20 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. smell absolutely delicious but they must now sit on the rack for another 20 minutes to cool down before you're allowed to tuck in. Oh I have been waiting for ages to tuck into these absolutely perfect for Burns night perhaps with a little dram of whiskey. So let's try one. I'm not going to be greedy I'm just going to try one of these little ones first of all. Mmm! Oh, it's got that crunch. 
Oh, this tastes perfect. Absolutely perfect shortbread. Mmm. Oh, wow. And even the one that cracked in the middle looks stuck together again. So I'm going to have that. Mmm. There's only one word for it. Delicious. They look like they're store-bought, right? But cheaper. Yeah. Most people will have all these ingredients at home. Mmm. Have one. It is good. Oh, one of the best things I've made. Say that again. I think one of the best things I've made.